Hey everyone, the best day of the year is finally here. It's National Chocolate Day and I'm so excited because we're gonna be making um, dark chocolate and organic peanut butter cups, homemade from scratch, right here on the Feed Feed together and they're going to be amazing. And before we dig into these beauties, I just wanna give a huge thank you to the Feed Feed once again for having me take over their account. I'm so excited to get started with these peanut butter cups, so let's dive in. So one of the really great things about this recipe is that you really only need two ingredients, peanut butter and dark chocolate, but I'm also gonna show you some things that are really handy to have in the kitchen, um, like baking cups, as well as a pot and a bowl in order to melt the chocolate, bain marie style. So for those of you who might be wondering what a bain marie style is, it really just is um, a hot water bath for your chocolate. What you would do is put hot water in here and bring it to a boil while having your chocolate in here on top and slowly stirring it until the chocolate melts to a nice, uh, so I'll give you a close up of what this looks like, but ultimately I've been letting this water in here boil for a bit, and then it really just kind of gives a bath for the chocolate and gets it to a consistency where it's nice and creamy for us to pour into the cups. So it'll be perfect. And this is why it's really handy to have a silicone brush like this in the kitchen, especially for making peanut butter cups, because what you'll do is you'll take the brush and you'll actually brush the chocolate up the sides of the baking cups so that when it comes time to pouring the peanut butter in, they'll look like real peanut butter. All right, so now that we have this chocolate, uh, our first layer of chocolate already in the cups and brushed up against the sides, we can pop these into the freezer and let them cool off for a bit. And then we can um, add our peanut butter to them and then the top layer of chocolate too. So once you've pulled your peanut butter cups out of the freezer, they'll look um, nice and dry like this. And then it's time for the second best ingredient, peanut butter. So you can just pour like a, a teaspoon in each or even half a teaspoon. And now for the final layer of chocolate um, that you'll just pour right on top of the peanut butter, um, which will seal up the peanut butter cups as we put them back in the freezer. Um, I kind of made a mess with these peanut butter cups, but that's okay, I'll show you the second. So these guys are done and they are gooey and delicious and ready for their close-up. I can't wait to tuck into them, but before I do, I wanna say thank you again to Feed Feed for having me. I always love working with you and I'm so happy to have celebrated National Chocolate Day with all of you watching. So, I all right, so while I dig into these gooey and delicious peanut butter cups, let me know what you're having on National Chocolate Day. I wanna hear all about it. Um, you can either message me at Inspired by Nick or comment on the Feed Feed. So thanks again for having me. I hope you enjoy National Chocolate Day.